This is not financial advice, not legal advice for entertainment educational purposes only and anything I say is my opinion. Please don't make any financial decision based on anything I say in these videos. That being said, hit the like button, subscribe button, all that YouTube algorithm stuff so you get the videos I put them out. See what I'm thinking, see I'm analyzing that data. But like I tell every day, the data they release us is false. It's going to give us a false narrative of the market so we can make bad trading decisions. Listen, there seems to be another RICO lawsuit filed in uh, the Southern District Court in Florida. The exact same court where my lawsuit is filed and is currently waiting on a decision from the courts. Um, Intercoastal Waterways, they were owners of, of MMTLP and they are suing Trade Station and doe defendants which means defendants that have not been named yet i guess it'll the, these other defendants will come out during discovery or something like that or defendants that might have been conspiring with trade station in order to rob these guys of their money in the mmtlp play now while any lawsuit against these bad actors these bad actors, I think is very, very positive. What I don't like about this lawsuit is that they named FINRA as a nominal defendant, okay? And this is just my opinion. Look behind me. FINRA is a nominal defendant. And what a nominal defendant means is that this defendant might have information, technical information, that might be beneficial to the lawsuit, but this person doesn't have to defend himself. This person isn't charged with any wrongdoing. Let me tell you guys something. Everybody is scared to death to sue FINRA and sue the DTCC. It's absolutely crazy to me when I believe, and this is just my opinion, that none of this fraud and malfeasance can take place without FINRA being down with the conspiracy. FINRA knows every single trade. FINRA has the blue sheets. So if you have, for example, a float of 1 million MMTLP and FINRA sees that they sold 2 million MMTLP, FINRA's responsibility is to stop the selling of MMTLP because they know that there's a million more shares that, than exist. So for, for FINRA to continue to allow them to sell MMTLP, when they saw more than twice the float go through their, their coffers, how could Finland not be a direct, normal defendant? None of this fraud and malfeasance can take place without Finra being directly involved because Finra sees all the trades. Finra knows when they sold two times the float, three times the float, 10 times the float. FINRA is fully aware of it. And it's FINRA's job to stop it once they reach like 120% of the float. But FINRA doesn't do that. FINRA is controlled by the bad actors because it's their buddies sitting on the board of FINRA. It's their buddies making the rules. So they allow this malfeasance to continue day in, day out. And because FINRA and DTCC think that they are SRO immunity, that nobody can touch them, you got these, well, these big law firms. We got these big law firms who are terrified of suing FINRA. Well, good thing I'm not a big law firm. Good thing I'm just me because FINRA and DTCC are defendants and not nominal defendants they are real defendants in my lawsuit they are real defendants in my lawsuit and they have to defend themselves in my lawsuit and we're waiting on the judge now to rule whether FINRA and DTCC are immune from prosecution from engaging in fraudulent activities or what I determine to be fraudulent activities you can't be immune from being sued when you engage in fraud. Engaging in fraud is not part of a SRO's normal business activities. You didn't sign up to engage in fraud. And when you allow two times the float, three times the float, four times the float, five times the float to be traded, 
What are you doing? You're engaged in a conspiracy to rob retail investors, to rob pension funds, and to rob institutions that follow the rules. So while I believe and I'm happy that another RICO lawsuit is being filed, the fact that they are afraid to, to go after Fridville, who I believe is the head of the snake, I believe none of this, none of this fraud and corruption, the naked shorting, none of it can exist without FINRA giving the go-ahead. So in any lawsuit having to do with naked shorting, RICO, conspiracy, or anything like that, FINRA has to be a main defendant because they are the gatekeepers. Anyway, please leave some comments. Tell me what you think. Do you think it's great that there's another RICO lawsuit in federal court against these bad actors naked shorting and robbing retail investors and pension funds? And do you think FINRA should be held just as accountable as every other defendant? Anyway, have a great day. God bless. And I appreciate y'all on this journey with me.